Image 1 of 3 Image 2 of 3 Image 3 of 3 The bottom line tablets sell like hotcakes around Black Friday, and this temptingly priced and well specced iPad rival from Samsung should appeal to Android fans, and with enough processing power to play games or work on business documents, it's an option for both leisure or business. If you're looking for a device that can cope with running several apps at the same time, or one that comes with a decent four-tablet camera, you're probably better off looking elsewhere but for an inexpensive all-rounder. The Galaxy Tab E is well worth a look. Pro's SD slot for additional memory space, split-screen technology cons processing speed on the slow side first. Let's take a look at the specs with a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor and 1.5 GB of RAM you're looking at a device should be able to easily cope with everyday tasks, from running games and playing films to browsing the internet and opening documents. If you have a couple of other apps running in the background, reviews suggest this should NT slow things down too much. Anything more, however and you may see the Galaxy Tab E struggle, certainly more so than Slate's packing more RAM and processing power. With just 8GB of internal storage, if you don't want to invest in a memory card you'll have to be choosy about which apps you have on the device, especially when the average film will take up about 2GB. However, if you don't mind forking out for an SD card you can expand your storage up to a generous 128GB, and while 128GB SD comes in at around £40, it still means the Samsung Galaxy Tablet E can offer the same amount of storage as an iPad for a lot less money. While the operating system is Android, the Samsung SideSync allows you to pair up to any mobile device, including an iPhone, so you can share images and content easily. Design the 9.6 inch 1280 by 800 resolution display is big enough and clear enough for watching films and playing games with a clear picture. The tablet is a sleek 8.5 mm thin, although weighing in at 496 grams it's fairly heavy compared to the iPad Air. There's a non slip rear casing designed to ensure a secure and comfortable hold. Other features there's a 5 megapixel camera on the rear and a 2 megapixel snap at the front. Although, if you've got a half decent phone camera, you won't be taking many pictures with your tablet. Split screen mode will enable you to use two apps at the same time. While if you're buying this for a young person, parents can block unsuitable apps, monitor the child's activity, and set time limits on usage. In terms of battery life, you're looking at around 8 hours. While the Galaxy Tab E is running the relatively old version 4.4 KitKat of Android, it does everything you need a basic tablet to do. If you want to decently spec slate at a decent price, take a look at the best deals we found above.